There's over 100,000 Palestinians that are olive producers and 45% of the agricultural land in the West Bank is dedicated to the olive groves. The Palestinians are olive people. It's been a part of their identity for thousands and thousands of years. I mean, it is their economic livelihood, and as a result of the political situation in this region, many of them have lost access to their livelihood. An olive tree takes many years to develop, so right now the people that are farming are farming because of the previous generations planting trees. That's the need that they came to us with, was, you know, our children will not survive economically if they don't have trees to harvest. And so the efforts of Run Across Palestine will go to, to purchase a bunch of olive trees that will be planted to give viability for future generations. The fact that uh, these runners are coming all the way from America is going to last 42 kilometers a day to raise awareness to them, to their plight. They are overjoyed by this commitment and uh, really it's touching them in the heart. And then of course we want to make sure that there's going to be farmers to nurture those trees 30 years from now. So we're building in some scholarships for some of the children of these farmers to make sure that they can go to school and be prepared to manage these farms in the future. We are going to be working alongside of people on the ground over there and working directly with the Palestine Fair Trade Association. When we discussed the run at the Palestine Fair Trade Association General Assembly, farmers were overjoyed by the prospects, by the event, by the idea. They're the first fair trade and organic certified olive growing cooperative that exists in the world. Fair trade is a social concept where people are organizing cooperatives, work collectively. Second, uh, fair trade ensures that all people involved are getting their fair share out of the production. Fair trade puts a face in our food. You know, somebody created that product for you. And fair trade gives us access to those faces. You know, we can see the people that grow our products and we can assure that there's some mechanisms in place that those people are going to be treated fairly. We expect the land to, to become a significant event in the life of the fair trade movement in Palestine. Accompanying this journey in Palestine will be an opportunity for folks to travel over and be part of a fair trade tour to learn more about the importance of fair trade as well as the reality of what's going on in the Palestinian community. This is not just a running expedition and it's not just a fundraiser. At the heart of this, this is really an opportunity for all of us to learn more about the rich culture and peaceful people that exist in Palestine. And that's something we don't see in our news enough. They're beautiful people. They're friendly and warm and welcoming and so hospitable. And honestly, they know as little about us as we really do about them. We know nothing of their reality, I mean, other than what we get on TV. And there's so much more to the story than that. This is not about politics. This is not about us or them. This isn't about pro-Palestine or pro-Israel. This is about people. This is simply about meeting people on the ground where they're at and walking alongside of them to help them have a little bit better of a life. In order to pull off this event, there's a lot of different help that's needed. The only way that this kind of endeavor is going to be successful is if we find runners that will participate in this really an ultra marathon, running great distances, almost a marathon a day for the course of a week. Financial support is always needed and that money is going to go help purchase the olive trees and to fund the scholarships for the kids of the farmers to go to school. We hope to get the support of individuals, of schools, of churches, of businesses. But there are so many ways people can get involved. I mean, they can simply just spread the word. They can like us on Facebook. If they're involved in education, they can encourage their class or their teachers to follow us and, and, and use our story to raise awareness about these parts of the world. Spread this video and spread uh, the links to our website on thegroundglobal.org around to your community. I feel something